Alright, match four. We're on the draw. We designated Obosh. And let's see. I mean, you know, main deck relic is definitely showing its worth. And they're and you know, we must have the magic touch that forces them to mold a four or three cards. I don't know what they're on, but it doesn't look like it's Dredge or Tron, which are the two most common decks that can survive mulling it into three cards. I'm putting them on Shadow. Shadow is the only deck that could probably come back from Malignant this far. Or, 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 um, Mill. Alright, that was a perfect draw, because the only, th the only thing that gave me pause about playing, um, Lightning Bolt was that, was that if they've got a, uh, a, the other crab. But, you know, but realistically, you know. Do we just play Void? I think we wait. Let's get to work on the graveyard. Okay, so let's uh let's see this how much further this non-game goes. <coughs> and the reality is The reality is we want to put... That's fine. Awkward. Let's just uh, do this. We're going to draw another relic, as we saw. I don't think we need to. I'm going to put this on top. Play this. We'll play Obosh. <clears throat> Put the opponent out of their misery. I mean, look, they're they're both color screwed and uh, and they mulligan to oblivion and they're mana screwed. But you know, it took us forever to finish them off. Same on us. Okay. All right, team. Let's move our own graveyard because our own graveyard is more important for them if they play a drown in the lock. Alright, might as well play Obosh. I mean, we came all the way here. And if they untap into Damnation, then good on them. Blood Moon can be pretty good in this matchup. Blast Zone can too. So we replace Void with Blast Zone. I don't know about Blood Moon actually. It's a two color deck. I think we're going to play Pillage.
Yeah, Void actually is kind of hard to get away from. So actually, instead of Pillage, let's just do Blast Zone. Sure, Blood Moon can lead to some easy wins, but ultimately they are a two-color deck, so let's show some respect. Oops. Um, Alright, these relics are very good, obviously, in the matchup, as we, as we know. Again, mostly because they can remove our own graveyard. And opponent only mulligan once this time. <laughs> I mean, I obviously zero would be better, I'm sure, for them, but at least there's a better chance for some type of game now. Well, keep ripping Firebolt off the top. Can't complain, I guess. Alright, we got the bolt for that, thankfully. Alright, let's play Relic, and let's see if they crack, and then we can respond. Just, you know, not have to mill another three. Okay. That's a card. If we can keep them off of um, playing business from beyond, and drawing three cards off of it, and I think we're in de a decent spot. Hmm. I don't think one damage is going to make that big of a difference. Eventually, we do have to play all buffs, I think. Alrighty. They're milling a lot, but... Alright, so let's do this. That has to go on the bottom. So okay, we're gonna play Swiss Spear, um, but we're not gonna attack. I think one card is worth more than one damage, um, unless we have Obosh, because then obviously two, two damage is probably worth more. Okay, that's fine. Let's uh, hope that Omosh can resolve if they go for um, man, I have to keep milling myself a lot to attempt to play it, but I can't not attempt to play it. Ooh, nasty. Um, so here's the situation, we have to just play this, and we literally cannot, cannot play, we're going to mill 6, and I don't think we can play Soul Scar even, 
every land we tap is just so invaluable. I don't know if I actually have enough firepower to win anymore. See, this is why we put Blast Zone in here. So we can hopefully deal with these. Yeah, I still like the plan. I still like Blast Zones. They're good against both the both the creatures and um, other stuff. Yeah, that was a pretty good start, but like Obviously, it got kind of out of hand pretty quickly. I don't think there's anything I really want to change here. I mean, I could play Pillage, I guess. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. But what do I replace? All of these cards look pretty good. Maybe Firebolt. Firebolt has been so good to me, though, so far. Alright, not too late. Just cannot keep this. Okay. Maybe this is where, um... Maybe this is where the temple show it shows its worth. Red sources. Okay, I mean, I don't know. I'm not really an aggro deck, but all right, there's a red source. Well, Temple showed its worth there. Um, all right, let's see. We're in crab. Well, we can uh, flame slash this. I know this is probably just going to get drowned and locked, but I have to try. Aether Gust, okay. It's not as bad, actually. Although they are probably going to just mill it. But if they mill it, at least I get the tokens. Meaning two is nice, but I don't think it's the end of the world. Maybe I should have flame slashed it now that I think about it. Yeah, I should have flame slashed for sure. I think it doesn't end up costing me the game. Thankfully they can't drown in a lock with that. Do I let them archive trap me? I guess I get archive trapped either way. 
Archive Trap is nasty. Alright. to him, but we just can't deal with them, uh, let's see, 10 cards, we just can't deal with them, um, playing visions from beyond, and there we go, 20 or more cards, that being said, our graveyard is nowhere near 20, let's just do this right now anyway, I wonder if they're trying to beat out the Obosh. I don't know, mission accomplished if so, because the thing is we will get uh we will eventually get milled out by them. They can't lure us right now. So even if they even if they play Glimpse of the Unthinkable and Visions from Beyond, I still won't have 20 cards in my graveyard just yet. Okay. I feel like they jumped the gun on that Visions from Beyond, because that's one reason why I did this. Try to resolve Obosh. If they play Luris, I think I'm going to let it resolve because I'm honestly not that afraid of these crabs, but I am afraid of Drown in the Lock. I'm not afraid of drawing the lock on this though. Is, why wouldn't they target Obosh? That doesn't make sense to me. Unless they're trying to bait out playing Laris. But that, then they would just double do it though. Yeah, this just makes no sense. They would have targeted Obosh, I would have countered it. Well, since, again, the only thing I'm really afraid of at this point is, uh, I mean, I got answers to both of these. The only thing I'm really afraid of is, um, is Drown in the Lock. I guess they actually didn't, they weren't representing Drown in the Lock. Gained a lot of life, but Obosh oh dishes out a lot of damage. Flame Slash. Flame Slash. I'm going to play this. And if they have damnation, then well, then I'm in for a world of hurt. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. <laughs> if they play Liliana for some unknown reason, I can at least sacrifice the Soul Scar. Okay. Well, now I'm regretting not playing um, Relic, but it, you know, they don't have any other creatures anyway, so it's not like... I'm 
I'm just going to keep a land in hand for bluffing purposes. <clears throat> I need a blast zone though, because if they have, um, if they have, uh, what's it called, um, with, you know, orb, then I think, mesmeric orb, then I'm probably just toast. I should have probably tried to remove something in a turn, but, you know, I doubt it's going to make a difference one way or the other. i got to try to, uh, What is this now? Crypt Incursion. This I cannot tolerate, unfortunately. Man, I wish this was Valakut. Why didn't they do this before? I guess... I guess they want... So gradually get me back up to 10 cards in my graveyard. I don't know. I could have gained 3 more life though. Yeah, if that was Valakut, I would have... I would have already had Swiss Spirit by now. Add another card instead of this useless mountain. I'm going to try to make a, it may not work, but the Luris Menace is already dealt with, and, and probably this is the best chance I have of sneaking anything past anybody. America would be a big beating right here. Alright, well, I guess I used the fireball a little too early. I hate the way this card keeps milling me. Yeah, I need to just be able to deal with this right now. Oh. At least I drew this instead of like having it get milled. that Firebolt ultimately lost me the game. I got a couple of Firebolts here, but let's see here. I don't think I have 10 mana just yet. 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm actually close to having 10 mana. As much as I like this, I think that's got to go to the bottom. Oh, 
a double flashback fireball from the graveyard to would have thought. What an what an interesting game. I don't know why they didn't block. That would that could have helped. I would have liked the bone crusher. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, Valakut Awakening definitely could have helped here. 